Hi guys, hope you're doing well. This is just a quick video to discuss a major new project that I'm very excited to be part of. The guys at Real Time History, Jesse and Flo, have launched their brand new Rhineland 45 project and that's going to look at the last major western operations of World War II. That's the, the crossing of the Rhine and the, the Allied invasion of Germany from the west. So. Last year, the guys at Real Time History examined the Battle of Berlin with their 16 Days in Berlin documentary series. If you haven't checked that out already, you definitely should do. Um, but what that does highlight is that the Eastern Front is often the main focus because obviously the war ended when the Soviets arrived in Berlin and Nazi Germany finally collapsed. So what's often overlooked is the uh, the Commonwealth, British and uh, US operations in the West. That's Operation Veritable, Plunder, Varsity, Grenade. The major operations at the end of the war that saw uh, Allied forces in the West push, push across the Rhine and um, there was some actually some very uh, difficult and heavy fighting um, on, the fr on that front. So what the new project is going to do is we're going to look at the battles and the strategic operations of those last operations. Uh, my role in, in the project will be to examine some of the equipment and the actual small arms and weapons that were used by both sides, uh, both Nazi Germany and the, the Allies. So what I want to do is bring a, a sort of a human level to understanding the weapons that were used in those actual battles. So we get an idea of what the individual soldier went through and how he fought man to man with the weapons on hand. So what I'll do now is I'll let Jesse and Flo explain the project to you in their launch video and then I'll discuss a little bit more about my role and what we're hoping to achieve with the project going forward. Hi, I'm Jesse and this is Flo and we are Real Time History. Over the past six years, we have been covering the First World War and its aftermath in over 700 episodes over on our YouTube channel, The Great War, a project that would have never been possible on traditional TV. And we also crowdfunded our World War II documentary series, 16 Days in Berlin, with the help of over 4,000 supporters from around the world. And it was released earlier this year on the 75th anniversary of the battle. Today, we are back to work with you again. We are making a documentary about one of the most decisive, yet often overlooked World War II battles in the West. We are covering the Battle of the Rhineland. In 1945, British, Canadian and American troops launched a massive assault on the German army's final line of defense in the West, the mighty Rhine River. There was bitter fighting in the mud and in the forests, and finally, a massive airborne assault to open the way into northern Germany. We'll cover the fighting on the ground, in the air, and on the river, with original battle footage, unreleased material, and sources from all sides, of course. We have access to the battlefields, and we'll work with an international team of historians and experts to cover the brutal combat and the plight of the civilians caught up in the crossfire. And while researching the battle, I recently learned that my very own grandfather also participated in the Rhineland campaign, which he didn't talk about very much. He was a machine gunner with the Cameron Highlanders of Ottawa, and his story is just one of the many personal stories that we will bring to you in this documentary. We need your support to make Rhineland 45 a reality. No TV station or broadcaster would allow us to make such an ambitious, in-depth documentary about the war. We want to show history as it really was. And with YouTube's content restrictions, we would never be able to release it there. With your help, we can once again bring together our expert team and make sure that we can preserve the history and the legacy of this crucial battle. Here at the Tank Museum, we're going to be supporting Rhineland 45 with vehicles such as this Comet. We're going to be helping tell that story of that amazing set of battles that led to the invasion of the German heartland in World War II. We have prepared a range of rewards that we think you will really like, and you can choose the one that works best for you. Every pledge is important because it sends a message to traditional media that if they don't want to cover history in the level of depth that it deserves, we will just do it ourselves. So help us do this together and please pledge right now. Thank you so much for your support. 
So what you can see from Jesse and Flo's launch video there is that Rhineland 45 is a very ambitious project and we're hoping to achieve a great deal. Um, since I uploaded my um, rough and ready arm length foam video uh, last week, uh, the project thankfully has reached its minimal goal, the, the, the funding goal that we were hoping to achieve in order to make the actual project become a reality. So going forward, what we're going to be doing is the, the fundraiser runs for another few weeks and we're hoping to reach some stretch goals which will enable us to do more filming with equipment, better maps, uh, which really help us zoom in and look at not only the strategic level but also the tactical operational level as well. Um, and also hopefully more combat footage um, from the actual fighting itself which always gives you like the most visceral understanding of, of, of what the fighting was actually like. Um, we'd also uh, really like to do some um, 4K and some colour footage as well in there but that's one of the upper echelons of the, of the stretch goals. Work on the project has already begun, uh, with Jesse and Flo just last week out on the actual battlefields themselves taking a look at the ground. You can check out their blogs about their trip over on the Kickstarter page. And I've been doing some preliminary digging looking at the actual nature of the fighting. So if you're interested in the project itself and you'd like to support us in making the very best documentary series that we can, uh, check out the Kickstarter page that Real Time History have set up and see uh, what kind of perks they have on there and hopefully with your support we can make this project phenomenally good. We really want to make the very best project we can and highlight these campaigns that were at the very end of the war that are often just taken uh, at a glance. Obviously the fighting in the East was pivotally important to bringing the war in Europe to an end but the fighting in the West, with the Allies pushing across the Rhine into Western Germany, was also very important. So, with your help, we're going to make an amazing project become a reality, and we hope that the documentary series that we produce is something that everyone can really enjoy. So, if you'd like to support the project Rhineland 45, then please do check out the Kickstarter page and help us make the project the very best it can be. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.